<clears throat> Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare view shared map using the ArcGIS Pro. So let will understand first what is a view shared. We'll right click and click on the help. It will open in the new windows. So you can able to see here view shared is actually determine the raster surface locations visible to a set of observer features. Like suppose if we'll take any particular locations, so you can able to see how much area we can able to see from this point. Okay, these are observer point and we can able to see a certain portion that is a visible and certain portion that is not visible from a particular point. So why this is important? So if you'll ask a chat GPT, they will provide you answers. Okay. So if you'll ask the application of view shared analysis, then you can able to see it is useful for the urban planning. Like suppose for the site selection, view shared analysis help in selecting the suitable locations for urban infrastructure, such as communication tower and water tower and tall buildings by identifying area with optimal visibility. Okay. So suppose you are doing urban planning, then if you want to know how much area can be covered from particular locations, then this visual analysis will be helpful for you. Then again, it will be helpful in environmental management. That is a visual impact assessment. Then again, military purposes, like suppose view shared analysis utilized in military planning to identify the vintage point with optimal visibility for surveillance to strategic purpose. How much area we can able to see from a particular point for that also this military application is useful again for the tourism activity, then wildlife observations, then fire tower placements, then agriculture, then site visibility. So there are a number of applications which will be helpful for this view shared analysis. So let will understand how to prepare this view shared analysis. The first thing is that you need to download the digital elevation model. Okay. So this same data you can able to download if you'll go to Vikas Gadamode channel there I have already explained how you can able to download the DEM data. If you'll go Vikas Gadamode channel you will see there are so many videos Astral DEM and also UHGS Earth Explorer. So you can able to download the DEM from watching these videos. So after downloading the DEM data you can also prepare the hillshade map to visualize the thing in a 3D. So like suppose you can able to prepare here hillshade. Okay. If I'll click on the hillshade, then the input dem is my projected dem. Okay. So I'll provide here dem data. And after that, output location means, means where you want to save this file. So I'll go by default and I will increase the z factor here. So let I will do 10. Just click on the run. So now we can able to see, we can able to see the 3D perspective of the terrain. Okay. So what we can able to do, we can just click on this. Okay. And then we'll go to raster layer option is there. Okay. If you click here, then go to raster layer and I will transparent this. So let I will transparent up to 70%. Okay. And uh, now you can able to see the things in 3D. You can also change the color of this right click symbologies and you can choose your color. What are the color you want? Okay. So now here you can able to see the red area showing the highest elevation and this green area showing the lowest elevation. Now, suppose if you take any particular location here, anywhere you can able to take, it is depend on your objectives. Like if I'll take the point here, so I want to know how much area I can able to visualize from these locations. Okay. So let what we'll do. I will create a one shift file or a feature class to add a point data here. Okay. So I will go to catalog and we'll create a new shift file here. Just right click on the folder. Just click on the new and shift file option is there. So I, this is my output folder. And I will provide here observer point. Okay. So I'm going to create an observer point and this is the point data. After that, 
this is the most important thing. We need to provide a coordinate system. So I'll provide the same coordinate system as my projected DEM data. And other option is as it is, I'll just click on the run. So now you can able to see the shape file is created here. After that, just click on the edit and create option is there. Okay. Just click on the create and the observer point is there. Click on it. Now we need to provide a point. So let, I will take this location. Okay. I have provided a point here. Now I'm interested to know how much area I can able to visualize from this location. Okay. So if you want to provide a particular point, you can able to check the below information. And from that also, you can able to provide a particular point. Okay. So let I will save this, whatever I have created here. Okay. So after that, again, go to geoprocessing tool. Okay. So this geoprocessing tool you will get from here. If you will click on the view, geoprocessing tool will be there. So after geoprocessing tool, there is toolbox option is there. In the toolbox, when you will go to toolbox, you need to come down and their option is there, special analysis tool. In the special analysis tool, there is a surface. In the surface, there is a view shed. Okay, view shed. Just click on the view shed. Now, input raster. It is asking me input raster. So, input raster is my this projected dem. So, let I will provide here projected dem. After that, input point or polyline observer feature. So, observer, this is my observer point. So, let I will provide here observer point. So, we have only one observer point. After that, where you want to save this file, output raster. So, I will go by default. If you want to save any particular folder, you can save your file and just click on the run option. Okay. Once you'll click on the run option. So now you can able to see from this location, we can able to visualize up to this much of location. Okay. If you'll uncheck this, now from this point, we can able to visualize up to this much of area. Okay. If you'll right click, open attribute table, you will see the information here. Okay. So from this point, there are two options are there. Okay. This much of area, which cannot be visible and this much of area which we can able to visualize from these locations. Okay. So this way very easily you can able to create a point data for your, for your reference. And from that you can able to draw a, from that you can able to get the view shared area. Okay. So it is very easy. If you are having any doubts regarding this, you can just ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.